Let's say we have to find the integral that we see here, in which we have to integrate a product of two functions. Indeed, we can see that we have a polynomial, that's x squared plus 1, as well as a radical function inside of which we have a linear, 2x minus 1. Now, as soon as we have an integral that matches those criteria, we can use the method that we learn here. The trick is to use the method of substitution, and for that we define a new variable. And for the variable that we define, we choose one of two options. The first option is to let the new variable, which we typically call u, equal to 2x minus 1. Notice that this 2x minus 1 is the linear inside the radical function. The other option we have is to define the new variable, again u, as the entire radical function. So in this case, that's the 2x minus 1 underneath the square root. Now, had this been a cubic root or any other root for that matter, the method we see here would still work. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to use this first change of variable, this u equals to 2x minus 1. In the next tutorial, though, we'll be solving the same question using the second option. Okay, now that we know that u equals to 2x minus 1, we need to rewrite this entire integral in terms of this new variable u. And for that, we need to find an expression for any x that we have inside this polynomial. So in this instance, we need to rewrite this x squared in terms of u. Similarly, we need to find what the dx would be in terms of du. So let's go ahead. We can quickly see that du dx is equal to 2 and that dx is equal to du over 2. Furthermore, we can rearrange this expression for u to make x the subject. And in doing so, we find that x is equal to 1 over 2 times u plus 1. Now that we have an expression for x, we find an expression for x squared by squaring this. Indeed, we can state that x squared is equal to 1 over 2 squared, so that's 1 over 4, times u plus 1 in parentheses squared. That leads us to x squared equals to 1 over 4 times u squared plus 2u plus 1. Finally, distributing this 1 over 4 across those parentheses, we find that x squared is equal to u squared over 4 plus u over 2 plus 1 over 4. The polynomial x squared plus 1 is therefore equal to the expression we have here, plus 1. So we can go ahead and write that. That's x squared plus 1 equals to u squared over 4 plus u over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1, which would be 5 over 4. We've now done all of the groundwork we need to do to rewrite this integral in terms of the new variable u. Here's how that works. We can state that this integral is equal to the integral of, let's see, x squared plus 1, which is the expression we just found here, which I'm boxing in green. So that's in parentheses, u squared over 4 plus u over 2 plus 5 over 4 close parentheses, times the square root of 2x minus 1. And using the fact that 2x minus 1 is equal to u, that becomes the square root of u. Finally, we mustn't forget the dx that we have at the end of the integral here. And remember, we found that dx is du over 2. So I write that at the end here, times du over 2. There we go. We've rewritten this integral in terms of u. And although we don't have to, I like to get rid of all these denominators here, simply to make my working a little easier. And for that, I'm going to take a factor of 1 over 4 out of those parentheses. So that would be the integral of 1 over 4 times, in parentheses, u squared plus 2u plus 5 times the square root of u, which I'll go ahead and write as u to the power of a half, times du over 2. Now, taking this factor of 1 over 2 out and multiplying it with the 1 over 4, we can write this integral as 1 over 8 times the integral of u squared plus 2u plus 5 times u to the power of 1 over 2 and du at the end here. We now distribute this u to the power of a half across the parentheses, which leads us to 1 over 8 times the integral of u to the power of 5 over 2 plus... 2 times u to the power of 3 over 2, plus 5 times u to the power of 1 over 2, times du at the end there, 
And at this stage, we've rewritten our integral in terms of u and simplified things as much as possible. Notice what this substitution has allowed us to do. We've turned this product of two functions into a sum of powers of u. And we know how to integrate powers. Indeed, all we have to do now is use the power rule and integrate with respect to u. So let's go ahead. That's equal to 1 over 8 times, and I'll write that in brackets, 1 over 5 over 2 plus 1 times u to the power of 5 over 2 plus 1 plus 2 times 1 over 3 over 2 plus 1 times u to the power of 3 over 2 plus 1 plus 5 times 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1 times u to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1. And I'll add a constant of integration here, but I'll write it as c star, and that will make sense later. Now, simplifying all these fractions here leads to 1 over 8 times in brackets 1 over 5 over 2 plus 1, which is 7 over 2, times u to the power of 7 over 2, plus 2 times 1 over 3 over 2 plus 1, which is 5 over 2, times u to the power of 5 over 2, plus 5 times 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1, which is 3 over 2, times u to the power of 3 over 2, plus my constant c star. I carry on simplifying these fractions. That's equal to 1 over 8 times 1 over 7 over 2, which is 2 over 7, times u to the power of 7 over 2, plus 2 times 1 over 5 over 2, which is 2 over 5, times u to the power of 5 over 2, plus 5 times 1 over 3 over 2, which is 5 times 2 thirds, times u to the power of 3 over 2, plus my constant c star. Finally, multiplying this 2 with this 2 fifths and this 5 with this 2 thirds and distributing this 1 over 8 to each of the terms inside the parentheses leads us to 1 over 28 times u to the power of 7 over 2 plus 1 over 10 times u to the power of 5 over 2 plus 5 over 12 times u to the power of 3 over 2 plus and rather than writing 1 over 8 times c star, I just define this new constant, which I'll call c. And at this stage, we have found our integral and expressed the answer in terms of u. All we have to do now is rewrite this answer, replacing every single u that we have by its expression, which was 2x minus 1. In other words, if I go ahead and call this integral i, we can state our final answer as i is equal to 1 over 28 times 2x minus 1 raised to the power of 7 over 2 plus 1 over 10 times 2x minus 1 raised to the power of 5 over 2 plus 5 over 12 times 2x minus 1 raised to the power of 3 over 2 plus some constant of integration c. And that's our final answer. And so that's one of the two options we have for using the method of substitution for integration when the two functions that are being multiplied are a polynomial and a radical function inside of which we have a linear. In our next tutorial, we'll use the second option in which the variable we define will be the entire radical function. For now, though, that's it for this tutorial.